Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and today we have a Volkswagen Golf R. It's a 2011 model and it's the later series. It's gunmetal grey in colour and it's got the black pack. So it's got the nice black alloy wheels which look very good in this combination. It's got the standard cloth trim and Bluetooth. It's got two remote keys to it and it does have all its manuals and its logbook from brand new. The wheels appear to be in very good condition. It also came with Xenon lights as standard. This car's done just 44,000 kilometres since it was new. And this was the first of the two litre turbo Golf R's which replaced the six cylinder. And they drive absolutely beautifully. They're also all wheel drive, so you're really putting that power to the road. It's got front and rear parking sensors. There's your spare. The back seats fold down. One of the best things about these Golf R's is they offer so much utility, yet you've still got performance. I think these represent excellent value when you consider new. They were in the vicinity of $60,000, especially with such low kilometres. I do like the colour as well. There's quite a few white ones and black ones getting around. We haven't seen a lot of grey ones. Obviously, it's got the DSG transmission. It's got the three-spoke steering wheel. And all in all, it's just a very, very nice car. The headlights are in very good condition. I believe this car has been garaged all its life. There's a few minor touch-ups on the bumper bars and things, which will definitely get looked at. It's got daytime running lights. But most importantly, it does have very good kilometres. We're starting to see these Golf R's with over 150,000 kilometres. The good thing about a Golf R compared to just your standard Golf is everything's built stronger. You've got a stronger engine, bigger brakes, a better gearbox. All in all, they're just a much better car than your standard Golf. I guess it's, it's comparable to your BMW 3 Series versus M3 or Mercedes C-Class versus C63 AMG. It's, a, it's the same sort of concept, really. And we're still getting $20,000 for the original Golf R32s in good condition, which I think also suggests that these are very good value for money. But if you have been looking for a Golf R and you want to buy one with really low kilometres, with two remote keys, with all the logbooks from new in a black pack, I think this is a very good place to start. we found generally a lot of them have done 60, 70, 80, 100,000 plus kilometres. So I think probably one of the best things about this car is it's genuine low kilometres. Thank you so much for watching our video today. We specialise in European cars. We have a number of vehicles in stock in this price range and we look forward to hearing from you.